Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Colossians chapter 3. You have been raised to life with Christ. Set your hearts then on the things that are in heaven, where Christ sits on his throne at the right side of God. Keep your minds fixed on things there, not on things here on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Your real life in Christ, and when he appears, then you too will appear with him and share his glory. The old life and new. You must put to death then the earthly desires at work in you, such as immorality, indecency, lust, evil passions, and greed. For greediness is a form of idol worship. Because of such things, God's wrath will come upon those who do not obey him. And you yourselves at one time used to live among such men when your life was dominated by those desires. But now you must get rid of all those things, anger, passion, and hateful feelings. No insults or obscene talk must ever come from your lips. Do not lie to one another, for you have put off the old self with its habits and have put on the new self. This is the new man, which God is creator is constantly renewing in his own image to bring you to full knowledge of himself. As a result, there are no Gentiles and Jews, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, savages, slaves, or free men, but Christ is all, Christ in all. You are the people of God. He loved you and chose you for his own. Therefore, you must put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Be helpful to one another and forgive one another. Whenever, whenever any of you have a complaint against someone else, you must forgive each other in the same way that the Lord has forgiven you. And to all those add love, which binds all things together in perfect unity. The peace that Christ gives is to be the judge of your hearts. For to this peace God has called you together in one body. And be thankful. Christ's message in all its richness must live in your own hearts. Teach and instruct each other with all wisdom. Sing psalms, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing to God with thanksgiving in your heart. Everything you do or say, then, should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks through him to God the Father. Personal Relations in the New Life Wives, be obedient to your husbands, for that is what you should do as a Christian. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, it is your Christian duty to obey your parents always, for that is what pleases God. Parents, do not irritate your children, or they may become discouraged. Slaves, obey your human masters in all things, and do it not only when they are watching you, just to gain their approval, but do it with a sincere heart because of your reverence to the Lord. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as though you were working for the Lord, and not for men. Remember, the Lord will renew you. You will receive what he has kept for his people. For Christ is the real master you serve, and the wrongdoer, whoever he is, will be paid for the wrong things he does. For God treats everyone alike. So this entire chapter talks about things we need to be doing. So we need to be doing our best to put away evil things. So hate, malice, lust, anything that we see that would be considered evil. Now, keep in mind, we're not perfect, so we will make mistakes. Not a single person on this world is sinless, not even Christians. Christians sin too, and we have to repent for what we do. We make mistakes, but we should be striving to be more like Christ every day and learn to be more like him so that our footsteps will be walking in his path. And then it talks about husbands and wives and how they should treat each other. Um, it's important that the women respect the men of the house 
and that the men love their wives. Um, now, in some cases, this um, situation is hard because in today's time, sometimes uh, people just don't get along and it can um, be difficult uh, depending on the circumstance. Um, but if it is up to God, he will uh, make sure that the right path is being taken. Um, this is something I'm struggling in my life, to be honest, um, trying to deal with it and figure out what, what the next path is for me. Um, and like I said, I'm not a perfect person either, and I have my own struggles. But this passage is something that speaks to me um, as well. And then we also need to make, make sure that we respect others and love each other uh, the way that Christ loves us. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will start on chapter two next.